Hey sis, it's your little bro again. Hey, um, so in this episode I wanted to talk a little bit about ways that you can speed up your computer because you said that um, it was running a little bit slow. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about is um, how you can, or increasing your RAM and where you can go to find some RAM for your computer and, and how to find which uh, which kind of RAM is the best for your computer. So the so the place that I like to go is, is a place called crucial.com and uh, on their website here they make it really easy to to find uh, RAM for your machine. All you have to do is click on select the manufacturer and you'll go to Apple <clears throat> and then your product line and so you are running an iMac and then select model and here's where the little apple remember I told you to click on the little apple so in the upper right left hand corner you click on apple and then about this Mac and then you're gonna get um, information about your computer and so what you want to look at is this piece here um, that'll tell you what kind of computer that you have um, and so you can look it up on crucial and so then you can select the model and you can choose the iMac and I want to say it was the 2011 21.5 inch I think that's what you had said so when I click on find upgrade because I think you had mentioned to me that you had four gigs of RAM uh, in your computer and so your computer can handle 16 gigabytes of RAM and then uh, there's two slots so two banks of one and so we want to view more because there's an 8 gigabyte kit but if we scroll down here we'll see there's a 16 gigabyte kit and for $143, uh, you could get 16 gigs for your computer, max it out uh, as far as it'll go, and that will that will definitely speed things up for you. <clears throat> Another thing that I wanted to kind of show um, in a little bit here, I'll just I'll show you how to um, how to look at what applications are running on your computer, and um, and then how you can kind of turn those off so that you can free up some space as well. Hey there, it's me again. So I want to show you an application um, called um, Activity Monitor on the computer that will let you, um, it'll let basically let you see all the applications that you have running at any given time. Um, and then once you know what applications are taking up a lot of resources, then we can go and turn applications off in, in, and I'll show you a different area here. So what we want to do is we want to open up Finder. And then in Finder, um, we want to go to Applications. <clears throat> we want to scroll down to the bottom um, at, under Utilities. And then there's a program called Activity Monitor. We'll just double click that. And then you'll see um, that we have a bunch of different applications. Uh, I have a lot of different applications running. But the first tab up here is called CPU. And so it'll tell you how much of your CPU um, so the brain of the computer, how much of that is being is being used. And then here under memory this is where you're going to see how much memory is being used. And this little graph down here will show you how much memory is being used in a graphical way. And so um, my guess is that what you're going to see is this is pretty full uh, on your machine because you only have, uh, you know, four gigs of, of RAM on your machine. <clears throat> energy that's you won't probably won't see that tab because I'm on a laptop and that's why you see that uh, disk is just how much uh, disk activity is going read write is going and then network is how much traffic is going up and down but go back to CPU and CPU cycle so if you have something that's really eating up a lot of CPU and I have like four um, you know four cores so this is okay on mine but um, and this is the recording thing that I'm using right now so that's why it's running the way it is <clears throat> but you can kind of see if you do have some applications here and you'll see them on the left hand side and if you click this little tab up here right here I'm showing I want to go from least to most utilization but I can click again and it'll show me most to least so if you have some applications like maybe a Google Drive or uh, Gmail or your browser Safari was way you know up on the CPU cycles here uh, then you can always turn that that program off and then some programs just load automatically when you boot your computer and I'll show you how you can take a look at those. So we want to open up System Preferences <clears throat> and Users and Groups. And then you want to choose yourself and then click Login Items. And then you'll see I have a bunch of applications that load on Login. So you want to look at yours and see if you have like iTunes Helper, I'd leave that. Google Drive Dropbox, some of those basic ones, I'd leave those in there. But if you have something like uh, um, Chrome, Google Chrome that's loading every time, 
or a Safari or some bigger applications, you can always just click on it and click the minus and it'll remove it from the login. So it won't boot, it won't load that program when you log into it. And so that'll help, um, you know, speed up the machine a little bit. But I think number one is going to be your RAM. And so I take a look at that crucial site and invest a little bit in their RAM. And it's very, it's very, very easy to upgrade the RAM on your iMac. There's actually a little panel on the underside of your iMac um, that you just unscrew and there's two sticks of RAM. You just pull both those out and put in two new ones in and you're good to go. So that's it uh, for this episode. Stay tuned next month for another one. All right. Love you. Bye.